Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm back with Ijina Naide Nagatoro-san episode number 12 and this is the final episode of this season. So the previous episode we got to a point where Senpai was kind of like you know like getting um, not embarrassed but she was he was reluctant to involve Nagatoro in all of this because uh, he thought that if he somehow fails which obviously he thinks like that because of his low self-confidence uh, he thought he's going to drag Nagatoro into it, her reputation is going to get messed up, all those stuff. But Nagatoro doesn't care about that, they kind of had a little bit of a uh, misunderstanding. Like, you know, <laughs> the club president also kind of heightened the misunderstanding by, like, you know, like, by being in that scene and using, like, you know, wearing that towel and all, that whole scene. And thankfully, it got resolved then and there, like, you know, like, in five or six minutes it did not drag out for a couple of episodes obviously it's kind of impossible to drag it because it's almost the end but still like you know it got resolved very quickly and now like you know they have a mutual understanding like senpai is probably going to take nagatoro's help now and nagatoro is going to help him win hopefully win this uh the cultural festival um, competition that they're doing and in the end, I think we saw, like, you know, a little bit of a scene where the student council president was also there. And they were, like, you know, the club president and the student council president were kind of talking about something. Like, you know, like something about responsibility. I can't remember that scene properly, but it was something. So that's another thing that's quite curious. So let's see what happens. Like, I'm not sure whether they're going to show the cultural festival in this episode or not. How they're going to do it but let's see because i think like they, they still haven't even started like you know practicing or anything so maybe they're going to cover that in the first half and maybe they're going to show this cultural festival in the second half who knows because otherwise it's going to end in a really weird position so i'm quite curious how how they're going to do this in 20 minutes let's see so yeah without further ado let's get started with ijana naita nagatoro san episode number 12. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, again, opening. I'm wondering, should I start the manga after this ended because we still have no... I don't think we have any announcement about season 2, I'm not sure, I'll, I'll have to check that out. If there's no announcement of season 2, I'm sure we'll get it eventually. But I'm really curious what's going to happen after this, like you know, in the manga. So I might check it out or might not check it out, I don't know. If my patience, like you know, if I'm able to keep patient and wait for the next season, then I'll probably not check the manga. Otherwise, who knows. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa. There's some detailed arts. He drew four of them. Whoa. All Nazar. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Disgustingly sweet. <laughs> She's so happy, look at her.
Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Can we see what it is? Okay. Yeah. Did he did she leave her painting there? <laughs> He's scared. Yeah. <laughs> Queen of the Ludes. <laughs> Uh, I think the leftmost picture of Nagato is the best one. No? Whoa, what happened? Wait, did she faint or something? <laughs> the, the magnitude of. <laughs> I'm sure the magnitude of the <laughs> art. <laughs> Doubly insane. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> They're scared. They're traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What the? <laughs> Yeah, he said that we don't need that. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, oh God. What are they thinking now? Oh. Oh, damn, these are some nice. We still have not seen the picture that mm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> what? What the hell? It's not <laughs> Yeah, what? Are they like making Nato's goods or something? What cannot be avoided? <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> well, that's it. Okay, I guess. What? What the hell? <laughs> Toro cat. <laughs> Toro cat one. Oh, oh, this is how they're 
increasing in popularity. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> what the hell is that dance? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I get it what they're trying to do. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> Whoa, everyone knows. Damn. <laughs> okay. Meows up. Okay, there you go. Okay. There you go. Wait, they... Wait, they did not recognize her? What? Wait a minute. They really did not recognize that Nagata and her are the same. Um, um, what, what the hell is this? Ah, okay, will that work? I don't think so. Like, even if that works, they will not get in votes. Like, I don't know. Let's see. Oh my god, yo! What the hell? Hmm. Oh, well, yeah. And and the person herself is sitting outside, you know? Okay, it's working. That's good. <laughs> what? Uh... Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Naruto's going to get. Okay. Um. Um. Ah! What? Oh, you. Yo, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Damn, senpai. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, what? Um, who, who, who's there? Who's in the other one? What the? Um, that's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Unpopular loner loves senpai. <laughs> okay. Mm, yeah. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So Well, everything's working out pretty well, I guess. The people are coming. <laughs> what? Wait, what's happening? Wait, what? Oh my god, they got caught by the, I'm guessing, disciplinary committee or something. I think so. Well, obviously, the, the stone castle is going to have problem with this. Yeah, it's a disciplinary committee. <clears throat> uh, who knows? <laughs> Victory without battle. Also, this was what they were talking about our, uh, in the previous episode. Oh yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, well... Well, that means... What? What's happening? What? Oh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yoshi's... <laughs> Well, Yoshi is finally talking, you know, like, I think this is the first time she kind of takes initiative. <laughs> yeah. Wait, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do we? Ah, uh, it's kind of true, in a way. Ah, there you go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, true, true. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what are they going to let make her do? Okay. Hmm. Oh no. Is this oh my god, yeah, this is <laughs> Is this a punishment? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god, this guy, this girl is... This, this is darkness part 2. <laughs> um... Damn, they made a lot of money. <laughs> well, now is a bit of a problematic time. So, oh no, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> 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 I was kidding. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hmm. There you go. He drew a lot of them. Is there something in the in her in the you know like behind them as well? Okay. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> oh, thank God. Saved by... Mm. That, okay, he really is taking the initiatives. Like, I, mean, I really like that. Like, <laughs> the ears. Mm, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's the end. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, they kind of ended it in in a, in a good way, like, you know, like, I was thinking, like, how are they going to do it? Like, are we going to see this cultural festival or are we going to see their actually, like, you know, practicing? I think they did not show us, like, you know, the, the practicing portion was kind of less. Like, they just showed us the uh, end ending, like, you know, result of the pictures. And then we got into the cultural festival, which I, which I think is good because it did not end in a weird position like you know this feels like kind of a proper ending to this season and uh, now i'm thinking like I, first of all i'll check out if there is any announcement of season two or not i'll have to check that out and then the question comes that should i resume the manga or should i keep my patience and wait for the next season that's the question here <laughs> yeah so let's see okay that's the end i think oh there's something more what is this Senpai? Oh. Yeah, it is Senpai.
<laughs> wow, okay, that was nice. Oh, there's something left. Obligatory <laughs> reward. Oh, wait. Is this what I think this is? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All this time she kind of used those things. But this time it's real. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. Okay. Any any announcement? No announcement? Nope. No announcement. Okay. Is that the end? Yeah, that's the end. Alright. First things first, let me check out if there is going to be a season two or not. Uh, hmm. Um, I can't find anything here. I don't think they have announced it, do they? Nope, I don't think they have announced. Um, no, I, I don't think they have announced it. No, it's not been announced. Okay. So yeah, uh, hopefully they do it because obviously Uzaki Chan got a uh, uh, what do you call it season two. So I hope this one also gets another season because I'm not even sure how much popular this. Is. I know the manga is quite popular, but I don't don't I'm not sure how much the anime is popular because as like you know like <clears throat> the main thing here is if this started like you know like as we were seeing it today as, as the relationship of Nagatoro and Senpai is now. If it started with something like that or a little bit less you know uh like you know the, the first two episodes i am sure like a lot of people kind of went away after watching the first two episodes because like like people are quick to judge you know like and i don't blame them for it because i'm like you know among so many animes people have a limited amount of time to to so to kind of choose anime based on this kind of choose anime based on the first two episodes first one or two episodes so the first two episodes were kind of like you know as we saw and people who kind of stuck around <clears throat> obviously they got to know how it kind of changes and obviously the manga readers who read the manga knew how this is going to change so they kept going but for people who like you know saw the first episode and thought that oh my god this is so like you know like bad i'm not going to see this like it's like a bullying anime like this is just making the guy cry uh, by, by bullying him so something like that they thought so they like you know left the anime did not watch it uh that i'm sure that kind of made the popularity of this anime kind of dwindle a little bit so like that's the main thing here so but i'm sure like you know like <clears throat> obviously they're you know they're, obviously they're going to know in the end that yeah the anime kind of changes and hopefully they'll give this anime a second chance and check it out and i'm sure anyone who gives this anime a second chance or does not like you know uh, leave like drop the anime after watching the first two episodes they're bound to love it uh, so yeah so i'm guessing the popularity is kind of okay like enough to get a second season i hope so at least i'm not sure but who knows whether we'll get it or not i, I i'll be really like it'll be really great if we get a second season <clears throat> otherwise we might have to continue the manga like i have to i might have to continue the manga because i really want to see like you know how this story goes and how it actually ends because this is such, such a <coughs> such a great uh, show and uh, like it, it's kind of like a change from the usual uh, you know like I, I was saying this like you know like uh, as, I, as I was saying like if this anime started in a proper way like you know with, without any kind of the whole like bullying thing that actually happened in the first two episodes uh, obviously it could have gotten a little bit more popularity but 
but it would not be the same like we, we wouldn't be like you know like Nagatoro would not be same we, like at least I I like Nagatoro because of her character was like that it kind of changed like what do you call it um no I, I, I don't think you can use that here I, I was talking about gap moy no this is not gap moy this is something completely different but <clears throat> You know like how it actually transformed into something completely different that's why at least that's why i really like nahatoru she's not like the usual like you know animals like cute girls doing cute things those type of things it's not like that definitely not like that so like that's at least for me that's like the main charm point of nahatoru so if this was something else probably i would not have liked nahatoru as much as i like it now if nahatoru was had some completely different personality you know if uh, let's say let's say if she had a personality like uzaki chan you know like uh, uzaki also teases the sen sen senpai wasn't it yeah uh, but it's not as like you know hardcore as nagatoro so like let's take if nagatoro's uh, personality was kind of like uzaki chan it would i, I would have been, i would have liked it but still like i prefer this nagatoro more than that uh, like you know nagatoro so like in my opinion the main charm point of Nagatoro is her being like this I don't know like you know uh, what other people think but that's just my opinion all right so this episode uh, this was the final episode of Ijinanai the Nagatoro san it's episode number 12 and in the beginning we see how <coughs> they uh, you know make different arts now here's the thing uh, I was kind of like you know uh, in my previous video I was kind of checking the comments out and I saw like people saying that uh, they were kind of, kind of concerned as, as to how the anime is going to adapt uh, the like you know like so many chapters in the last episode now like let me know did they skip anything I'm not sure you know? because obviously I've not read this manga this portion of the manga so I'm quite curious did they skip anything from the manga or was like you know like did they faithfully adapt it so that's the question if they skip something i might go and check the manga out so yeah anyways okay so uh we as we see like you know they were trying to like you know do like now senpai made a lot of you know sketches and art and like he made like almost six no not six uh yeah six six or eight six or eight art of nagatoro like it, it was filled with like you know his room was filled with nagatoro's art so like obviously that took uh, i'm sure that took a lot of time and um <clears throat> like every sketch as we saw you know was very well done and now i was thinking like you know like they, obviously they, they, were, they were going to have the voting which was like the main like you know competition like i think they said something like who's going to like you know anyone the person who's going to get the biggest like largest number of votes is going to stay you know like uh, if senpai gets the largest force he'll be able to stay like you know, the art club will stay otherwise it's going it's going to get disbanded now i think if the voting happened in this episode probably uh club president would have won i don't know like i probably think like something like that must have happened so like in a way it was kind of a blessing in disguise that her art actually kind of got banned but then like you know they again brought it back so technically it kind of got disqualified which makes senpai automatically the winner because i don't think senpai would be able to like you know uh defeat uh club president in this because first of all number one club president's drawing like you know club president's art was extremely detailed and well done like <laughs> i'm not talking about the loot like you know loot factor of it that's a completely different thing even without the loot factor it, it was it was really well done like you know it had the details <laughs> you know it had the details and um that was like the first thing the next thing is obviously the loot factor like as, as we saw like these like the people here almost 50 percent of the students are going to get drawn to the art because of that because of the loot factor because they're high schoolers what else do you expect you know like i don't blame them so that's going to happen and the other 50 percent probably like you know like where actual people who uh like you know like the art uh, like you know art uh, what do you call it 
um, art portion of it like as like as they uh, explained that there were also people who genuinely like you know was actually uh, looking at the art in an art perspective so those people so like combined obviously like Pratap Prasenna would have gotten a lot more votes Nagatoro had a lot of popularity as well Nagatoro's picture also had a lot of popularity as well but I think that was because of the the thing that they were doing the whole uh, publicity advertisement thing you know like like it, it's like they, they were kind of saying that okay like you know like you, you like the Toro cats come with us we have some picture in the like you know place and they went there they checked it out and they were like oh this is really great something like that they, they had to bring people in whereas club presidents in club presidents factor people went there automatically club president didn't say anything she was just sitting and that kind of shows the popularities obviously was going to be more in club presidents um you know like people are going to uh, like she would have gotten more force that kind of shows that another thing here is <laughs> Her, I think her, what do you call it, her reputation. Her drawing had a, like, you know, had a huge reputation because she did, she has been doing this for quite a while. In the previous, uh, you know, culture festival as well, she did this. So there was already some people who knew her. So whenever, like, you know, like, they got to know that, oh, the club presidents are, are going to make a, another art, they knew that, yeah, I, I'll have to go there. Like, you know, it, it's like, uh, what do you call it like the, her popularity was kind of uh, more because there were a lot of people who actually experienced her drawing before so obviously like you know they, they are like uh, fans of her art in that case like in, in, in that department Nagatoro's drawing had none I'm sure this is the first time Senpai did something like this I think so so there were no fan base you know there was no fan base of his art whereas Senpai's uh, club president's uh, art had a fan base. That's another factor why she would have won. Like these are the reasons why I'm saying like she would have won. But obviously, like you know, even though like Senpai's like uh, they brought some some people and kind of dragged them into the art like you know room to show them uh, the drawing and they liked it after that. Even though that happened, there were also a lot of people who kind of appreciated it after like you know they went to the uh, to watch uh, Nagatoro's uh, Senpai's drawing. As we saw those two girls kind of come out and say that oh this is quite great you know like I also want to do something like this can you teach me all that kind of stuff like they, like a few people genuinely showed showed interest in it so that was the thing with this whole art like you know uh, battle like <clears throat> it's kind of more what do you call it like kind of one-sided in a way because club president had a bigger presence in the school and people knew her drawings so she would have won you know other so thankfully like as i said it was a blessing in disguise that it kind of got removed and they, she got disqualified from the uh, competition and automatically senpai won like like the main goal here was to keep the art club like you know standing so that it does not get disbanded like, you know, it, it is not to find out who draws better obviously that was not the point here so they got their goal and I think like, like that's all like, you know, like for now, at least that's enough. So I'm sure Senpai himself will also improve his drawings in the future. So maybe he can someday, uh, like, you know, properly like, do a competition against club president and win properly. I hope so in the future, that's in the future, you know, and, uh, yeah, the way they were like advertising the whole thing was kind of interesting. Like as we saw, like Nagatoro and the other ca cactus kind of do the whole Toro cat thing, and like they were like, "Oh, like do you want to get toyed with? You know, like do you want me to bully you? <laughs> All that stuff." And um, <clears throat> like I was thinking, like, is this even going to work? But it kind of worked, so I guess it's okay. So yeah, and obviously we see the. <laughs> The whole problem when like Nagatoro was actually like you know messing with the other people, Senpai was like, oh my god, what the hell is she even doing? Like you know, she's, he's kind of getting envious because you know the whole <laughs> bullying teasing thing is kind of a special thing for Senpai. So obviously she, he was kind of getting a little jealous. But 
like that doesn't even hold a candle to what happened after that because Mahataro got pissed off at what <laughs> happened like, you know what was happening to senpai like and there's these two girls were coming out and saying that oh like we want you to teach us and stuff like that and he was kind of like <laughs> you know like acting giddy so <laughs> oh my god and that was funny so yeah and uh, now here's another thing so the, the whole thing with the problem that actually happened here is that uh, this also was shown in the previous episode the student council president actually warned him her that you should not like you know put these kind of things obviously this is a school like you know like i i, I don't i don't blame them i don't blame the disciplinary committee because obviously there are going to be people who like you know like as, as they said like came here for a completely different reason not to appreciate the art but for a completely different <laughs> reason because this is a like you know school there, there are a lot of people like you know like uh, high schoolers are bound to be like that a few of them not a few but most of them so yeah that's why like you know the, the whole disciplinary committee kind of got involved in it and so in the end like i was most surprised that they that they allowed it you know in the end like they kind of said that okay like you can keep it but you should probably like like do some kind of survey or something like give me some report as to what people thought about it something like that most probably so like i was really surprised i was thinking like no then they're, they're not going to allow it because i doubt any school like you know like this, obviously this is in an anime this is happening i doubt there is any school who would even allow this i doubt it so like i was really surprised that they actually allowed it so yeah <laughs> uh. what else oh and then in the next part <laughs> the whole like you know bunny outfit thing happened as as <laughs> Naadro comes in and she sees like you know like club president actually trying to change in the room and got freaked out again and uh, <laughs> But in the end, like the whole thing with um, them actually going to the what was that? Uh, the after party or what? Just a sec. Just a sec. Oh, ceremony cons closing ceremony. Okay, closing ceremony. Yeah, they're they're doing the whole closing ceremony, and um, yeah, it kind of ended in a positive way, and. <laughs> The whole section with uh, club president actually saying that, yeah, there there, there is love in it, <laughs> was was hilarious. As we saw how Nagatoro acted at that moment, and I'm really glad like Senpai is taking the initiative. Like you know, like these few episodes, these last few episodes, he he's telling everything. Like you know, like like <laughs> like he doesn't care now. Like he, he's just saying that yeah, like I like you know Nagatoro was a good. Uh, what what did he say? Just a sec. Oh yeah. The, I mean, she says that there is love and yeah. Like I think he, like he kind of like um, admitted that yeah. Like it, it was because it was Nagatoro. Oh yeah. He he said something like I want to draw Nagatoro or something like that. Like these kind of things like ah uh, like damn like the, the first few episodes like and today's f senpai like they're like heaven and hell difference so i'm quite glad that he's actually taking the like, you know courage to actually like say these kind of things uh, unlike a few animes where the main character are unable to do it even after five seasons so I, <laughs> you know <laughs> so yeah I, i'm really glad so <clears throat> yeah that and uh, oh in the end we get a little bit of a section where senpai is sketching nagatoro again and this time nagatoro really pecks him on the cheek and this was genuine you know like all these times she kind of used some kind of eraser and stuff i think like the, what did she use he used those kind of things before but this time it was genuine and uh, yeah it's great. I wonder how it's like if we have, are going to have a second season, how the whole dynamic is going to change between Nagatoro and Senpai. Like, the only bullying part was the first two or three episodes. 
and then it kind of changed the whole uh, you know the whole thing changed completely like that's what i said in the first uh, few episodes like you know the people who were actually starting to watch this like i said like they like give it a little bit of time a uh, few chapters a few episodes four five six episodes and you're definitely going to see the amount of change that happens as i as i said like you know i was a manga reader the first few chapter i read and i actually saw what happens that's what i kind of said in the beginning and like now i like want would like your your guys's opinion like if there is anyone who is watching this and who was kind of skeptical about continuing this in the first few episodes you know i'm quite curious as to whether did your opinion change after this episode or not you know how the whole uh, thing changes how nagatoro's attitude changes how senpai changes all this change so after today's episode i am still skeptical about this show or is it okay now like i'm quite curious about the opinion of like you know for, for people who actually were kind of you know skeptical about this show for the first few episodes and who even thought about dropping it so yeah i love this show like you know like even though people like I, i'm sure like there will be a lot of what can i say like different opinions as to people might say that oh like so what like you know so what if she changes like you know, she kind of like you know did these kind of bullying things in the first like you know like first few episodes and all that happened like that's uh, like you know that's something that should should not be like you know condoned stuff like that bullying is bad all those kind of things like i get it i get what people are trying to say but first of all Semp in the first episode Senpai himself said that your teasing I do not like you know I I don't have any problem with him but the actual bullying that he got through that was the problem so who are we as audience to judge two characters when the character who's getting bullied himself is okay with the bullying like who the hell are we like that, that's my question here like like the person who's getting bullied he says that he's fine with this so what's the problem here and like that's the first thing and like like you know like people might say oh this is like an anime this is something that is like you know like that that the author did like obviously that's not the real like you know way this goes this is something imaginary so if you bring that point up then i'll like you know i'll kind of counter it with my point i'll say that if this like if you think this is imaginary then why are you getting triggered by some imaginary characters bullying some imaginary characters you know so that's the whole thing here like if you are going to get angry on behalf of an imaginary animated character then you should also realize this that 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 imaginary uh, animated character has no problem with the bullying so who are we to put our decisions in his mouth that's my whole point here so i don't know like you know as i said like people might have different opinions on this all those stuff but like the, like the whole bullying thing if if it continued throughout this whole season i myself would also have a problem with this but it happened for the first two episodes nagatoro changed completely after that you know after she actually saw and the whole bullying thing was kind of like you know it's not even bullying like he, she kind of teased him and in the first episode she kind of went a little bit like you know too much into the bullying thing as she kind of like i think made him cry yeah i made him cry threw him in the water those things were a bit too much and so yeah and after throwing him in the water she also kind of apologized as far as i can remember so all those stuff so like that's what it is like that was basically it those first two episodes so yeah like i don't know like i've seen a lot of people actually like you know kind of uh, in comment section and everything like in other places kind of say that oh this is bad this is bad like all those stuff so like my point is like who the hell are we to judge if the character himself does not have any problem with it so yeah like this is such a like it's such a wholesome show so like kind of like you know pisses me off when actually people without even like you know seeing the whole thing and like you know judges it by the first two episodes that's the main thing like i myself i really like this show that's why i kind of get like you know a little bit um heated whenever something you know someone kind of says that oh this is bad this is something really bad anyways like you know like it's people's opinion what else can we even do but yeah i really love this show and i i really hope that they do a 
an, a season two anyways i kind of started ranting anyways so yeah as i said like you know these are all my opinions no like you know like these are all my opinions and everything if someone has any other opinion if someone like you know does not like this all well and good you can see a different anime no problem but this is just my opinion on the whole show so yeah guys thank you guys for watching as uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and also uh like obviously like this is the end of this uh like this final episode of the season so obviously i'm going to replace this with another anime uh one of the i think summer yeah summer 2021 animes um i'm not sure who which i'll replace this with but my like you know summer 2021 schedule is i'm going to start four shows out of which two shows are completely new kobayashi san's dragon made season two and uh, mahoka koko no yuto say these two are the new shows that i'm going to do uh the third show that i'm going to do like react to is something that uh released in spring i think that is odd taxi and the fourth show that i'm going to uh, react to is an old show which is serial experiment slaying so out of this fourth show i like you know, any one of it will replace Naruto. so yeah if you guys are interested you can check them out when they come out when i react to them so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another uh with another new video so until then goodbye and have a nice day